today we're Druzy dreaming at Fire Mountain Gems. Okay, so to make Druzy, we're going to start off with some Pavelka Magic Gloss, which cures in a UV light, and some various types of inclusions. Um, this is a, a, a German glass glitter made from of iced enamels. And my favorite here is this, this opal ice resin. And also just some plain old glitter. Just glitter. And uh, I'm going to use a little bit of mica powder to uh, add a little opacity to my druzy mix. But you can use anything you want. Experiment. See what makes the druzy you like the best. Okay. To make druzy, we start with a test tube. Yeah, okay, it's a plastic cup. But we're going to start with this plastic cup. Add some of the Pavelka Magic Gloss to it. And then we start adding our great inclusions. Okay, let's put in some of that German crystal. Yeah. Let's add a whole bunch of this opalescent ice stuff because that gives it that neat color. Yeah. Let's add mm, a little bit of this glitter. I only want a tiny bit of glitter. I want to give it a little bit more of the blueness to it and more of those inclusions that would that you would see in a natural type of stuff. Then a little bit of this mica powder. And this is actually a sparkle blue mica powder. I know it doesn't look blue here, but when it gets wet, it has a very shimmery blue sort of color. Oh, and then our very, very, very fancy stir stick, a toothpick. Here we go. I'm just going to start stirring that up. I want it to be the texture of thick oatmeal. And if I don't have enough stuff, I will just add a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Isn't that neat? It's, it's very druzy like Let's add some more. I'm going to add quite a lot more of that opal stuff. Because that almost dissolves in there like snow or something. Okay, I'm going to stir that up some more. I like the amount of glitter. That looks good. I like the amount of sparkle. That's actually looking pretty good. Kind of like wet oatmeal. Kind of thick oatmeal. I don't want it to lay down flat. I want it to end up being a lumpy, bumpy mush. Looking good. We can pretend that's Druzy. You bet. Okay, so we got this mix all ready to go. Like I say, you can experiment. You can use any number of things. You could use microbeads. You could use actual beads in there. You could use pieces of rock from your driveway, whatever you want to use to make your druzy, your colors, your shades. Okay, so I'm going to put that into uh, a setting. Uh, I'm using this antique gold one, and I want to make sure that stays level while I'm curing it. So I'm going to use this little tray. And that's just a piece of scrap polymer clay there. I'll press my setting right into there. And then I can manipulate it to make sure it stays level, which is the cool thing about using scrap clay. And all I have to do is just pour this stuff right into my mounting. And poke it around. I don't want it slopping off the edge. I want it to look like a stone has been cut and set in here. So I don't want anything slopping over the edge to make it look as real as possible. And also, real druzies in nature are not smooth and perfect. They tend to be lumpy and bumpy and with crevices and inclusions. So I'm going to let it be sort of lumpy and bumpy and with crevices and inclusions. But the most important thing, I think, on my faux druzy is the piece de resistance, this little bit of, of the German crystal silver that I put on the top. Here we go. And I just used a tiny bit. And that gives us texture and sparkle. There we go. And looky. I still have quite a lot of this good stuff left. So you know what? We can make earrings too. Ah, look at this. Same idea. 
just using an earring mount. It's got a wire already attached to it. And all I have to do is plop in some more of this great oatmeal mix of druzy. Push it in there. Mush it around. Add a little bit more of that German crystal sparkle. Make a second earring. I'm going to pop those into my Pavelka lamp now. And these will take, really only take about five minutes to cure. So while those are curing, I'm going to give you a quick overview on how to do the necklace. But if you want uh, more specific instructions, we'll provide a link. So you can go to our Fire Mountain Gems and Beads Gallery of Designs and get specific directions on how to make this necklace with this fabulous faux druzy. So now we've created this gorgeous druzy pendant. Now we need to turn it into the necklace. This is a fairly simple necklace. I'm just going to alternate links with crystals and links made from a piece of chain I have. I'm going to show you briefly how to do that using an eye pin. I'll put on a little silver bead and then one of my little blue crystals, barely blue, and then another silver bead. and create a link. Lots of videos on how to create links. I'll give it to you very briefly. Uh, I just make a 90 degree bend. Dink. I trim off my excess wire that I don't need. And notice how I carefully make sure that wire doesn't flip into somebody's eyes. And then with my round nose pliers, just roll the tip of that back reposition and roll again to make a link and I've made a whole bunch of them already done so now to create the chain I'm just going to use a jump ring a link a piece of chain and close it. And you're just going to keep alternating that until you've made the chain the length you want it to be for your necklace. It's all up to you. Now, we've got this beautiful necklace. You want to take it just one more step up, you can add a little bit of a highlight chain to it. This is just a length of chain that's a little bit shorter so that it hangs just right and I've created some little dangles on here, just five of those little guys. Same way I did the links, except that I used a head pin. Little silver bead. A crystal. A little silver bead. And make a loop, just like you did the last one. Once you've got five of those, you're going to hang them off of your necklace here to finish that complete necklace. Of course, we're going to provide that link for you, so if you need more detail than what I've just given you, you can go to our Gallery of Designs and find more specific instructions on how to finish this necklace. I hope you enjoyed this project. Aren't those druzies great? I love them. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Happy beading!